So guys, Master Jerk is back. Now, up. I'm gonna talk about the concert experience with Kodomo Dragon. And for this part I actually brought some help because I don't remember everything in my head. So I'm gonna read and not everything. So the concert was yesterday, which was Wednesday, December 28. 2016 this concert was located in Akashu. This was the concert the venue of the concert where they were at Akashu in Umeda in Osaka Sorry, oh my god my camera is falling. Hang on. There was much better <clears throat> So I was walking around and I couldn't really find a place even though it was super easy, but I didn't find it so I came there around 4 o'clock at the afternoon and they were selling merchandise outside and they were actually gonna finish the merchandise sale at 4 and I was going to pick up some money from a store next door basically and when I came back the merchandise was finished for that moment and I was like oh my god this is my, my typical luck. So then Joey came and we decided to eat something very fast, something very small and uh, we were actually like we got pushed away from the staff because they were like A tickets enter first and then B and C tickets enter afterwards. Apparently we had C tickets and I had no idea that we had so bad tickets if I'm gonna be honest. I have seen so many GX bands live during my years now and I think this is actually the first time we had these bad tickets and at least me. I had these bad tickets when I have seen Giroc bands, okay? I have seen other bands and other artists as well, which are not Giroc, but for if we're gonna talk about the Giroc bands now only, uh, this was actually the worst kind of tickets I've ever had, if I'm gonna be honest. And not much to do about it because I bought them very late, apparently. And um, so we were waiting and uh, I decided to leave my bag in a locker because I didn't want to bring it inside because it was gonna get in the way and it was good that I actually did that. So we got, we actually got inside the venue around 5.25 or something like that. It was cold outside but I was happy that I had my extra tray on me and everything like that. Uh, we were actually almost at the back of the entire, entire arena or entire venue. We were like in the back. It was like a few people standing behind us and that's it. Everything was packed. Even though the venue was pretty big but there was so many fans. Oh I was it was driving me crazy almost. Uh, Joey took a beer and uh, I was waiting and the concert started around 6 and ended at 8, so they were going for like 2 hours. <laughs> yeah, he was for that. I don't complain about 2 hour long concert. It was super duper fun. And let's see, if you wonder why I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my paper from time to time. And Joey thought it was fun, and it was a lot of furious, you know, like this. Bam, 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 and a lot of headbang, both in this way and this way, you know how it goes by now. And uh, when they came out, Shamu entered the stage first, followed by Yume, Men Men, Kana, and Hayate came out at the last person, of course, since he's the vocalist. Um, wrong note. They were doing a lot of songs. I don't remember how many songs because the set list haven't really come out yet. But um, I guess. I think I know that they actually did a lot of songs from their new album which they have just released called Wolfman. So a lot of songs they were performing came from that album. They were super good, amazing, the fans were crazy, I was gonna tell you that they were crazy. Hayato had a wonderful voice and during a song he actually jumped down in the audience and he was standing that like there and everything and everyone was headbanging and during another few songs uh, we were actually singing with him and everything like that but when he came to the audience into the audience he was like a little uh, he was a bit far away not too far away from me and Joey and it was super cool and Men Men was cool because he's my favorite obviously <laughs> And Yume, he was amazing on his guitar, obviously, as he always is. Kana was super funny, and he's also an amazing guitarist player. And Men Men is uh, an amazing bassist, of course. And Shamu is amazing on his drums, I was gonna tell you. And uh, many girls had like these glowing rings, like they were glowing in different colors. So the entire room was like color, color, color. 
after two or three songs, Hayato was talking about their tour final that they're gonna hold in Tokyo next year on uh, January 8th. And this uh, concert they had in Osaka yesterday was their se semi final. And they said it was the best semi final they have ever had because there were so many people there. <laughs> yes, I understand why it was many people. And they had a lot of energy, this band. I'm gonna tell you that they are like the everyone else I've seen. I mean, every band I have seen so far are on the same level in their performance skills and are all the artists that I've seen as well and all the duos and everything. Uh, everyone has been on the same level, so I can really tell that the jerk bands hold their same kind of performance skills on live, on during a concert and everything. Um, so they were doing a lot of songs, and then it was time for encore, and the, the girls were starting right off, no problem, and Joey thought it was very funny, <laughs> and I thought it was very funny as well. And they came out again, and they were doing three more songs before the concert was finished, but when they came out, all of them came out besides of Hayato. So Men Men, Shamu, Kana and Yume came out, and this was not actually the actual order where they came out. They came out as Shamu, Men Men, Yume and Kana. And uh, all of them were talking a little bit. One by one, Shambu talked first, and everyone was like Shambu, Shambu, and then Men Men was talking, and he was talking a lot about a lot of things as well as Shamu did. And every fan was like, after Men Men was finished talking a sentence, they were like, so this ne, so this ne, and I was I couldn't stop laughing. And Yume was like, Yume, 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 and then Kana, 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 and Kana was very funny. He was a very funny guy. And at last Hayato came out and he was also talking a little bit for a while. And they were talking about everything, this tour and how fun they have had and everything they were doing and that they appreciate us supporting them and they want us to come to their tour final next year in Tokyo. I'm not sure if I can do that yet. Um, I'm not gonna say that I can't go, but I'm not gonna say that I can go either. So I'm not, for the moment, I'm not sure. And then uh, since everyone was out, they took pictures with the entire audience, they light up, and but you couldn't obviously see Joey or me because we were standing too far behind. So we did our best to raise our hands, but our hands didn't really came on the pictures, so I saw that afterwards today. They were... They were performing with three more songs, as I said, and everyone was giving everything, and I was trying to not head back too hard because I knew how my head turns out the day after. But today it's 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 a little bit stiff, but it's okay. Um, and then after the concert was done, I was super happy because they were so amazing. I highly recommend you to see them live, even though. It, I had sea tickets and Joey had a sea ticket, we both had sea tickets. It was super amazing to see them live, I do not regret anything, the only thing I regret is the fact that we had so bad tickets. But that's something you have to live with, you can't get good tickets every time, I know, that's life, especially when you buy them too late. I think they actually released these tickets before I even came to Japan, if I'm gonna be honest, for like over three months ago, so I can't expect anything else, right? Not gonna see how much time it is on this one. I'm not sure how much time I have left on this card. <laughs> but you will notice if this camera shuts off again. And I will continue. Um, so they were throwing out drumsticks. Shamba threw out his drumsticks. Men Men, Yume and Kana were throwing out their plectrums. Picks, you know, their picks from the guitar and ba basses and, you know, everything. You know, the normal things they throw out. And water bottles were thrown out by Hyatt and everyone. Since we were so far behind in the back of the venue, we didn't manage to get anything as I expected from the beginning when I saw how far back we actually were standing. Um, so we didn't get anything, and uh, I'm gonna continue this fight with actually trying to get something someday. Uh, next year might be a good year, right? <laughs> and uh, everyone was thanking and thanking, and then one by one walked out, and I actually think if it wasn't... I think it was during this time, or it was when before the encore when they went out. I'm not sure which part it was, but uh, Yume also tripped. He was like, whoa, when he was going off stage and everyone was laughing, he was laughing and the members was laughing. And everyone was laughing when they were talking as well. I'm just gonna tell you that they were said so many things and everyone was laughing. And then Xiaomi was the last one to go out. So he was like waving to everyone and everyone was waving back at to him and he was standing like this for a while. 
Joey then decided to go because he had something else he had to do, so he was running off and the light came off, people started to put their instruments down from the stage and everything and I was standing in the merchandise uh, line. So um, since I was standing there I apparently I heard that the check is from yesterday. The checks that they took during that day was actually sold out, but I didn't care. I want to have checkies, even though it was gonna be these checkies, or it was gonna be the checkies that I already bought from the instrument, or if it's gonna be those they had during the Christmas. I didn't really, I didn't really matter for me. I just wanted to have a shamu. So I came in front of the merchandise table. I bought a hoodie and I bought a towel and two bracelets, rubber bracelets. I was supposed to buy their two shirt and their bandana as well, but I totally forgot. I'm not sure what happened to me during that moment. And then I bought five checkies in the hope of actually receiving one shamu. Did I receive one shamu? No. Not a single shamu. I bought 12 checkies during these two days. Not a single shamu. What is the odds for this? I'm not sure. I'm super angry about that because I have like four Kana now, four Hayato, three Men Men and one Yume and not a single Shamu. <sighs> My luck, right? So I'm gonna try to actually attend their uh, final concert in Tokyo next year. I'm talking about it with my friend right now, I'm not sure. We'll see if we can manage something to get something up because she wants to see them as well. So we will do our best. And after that I went out to get my bag and I was super tired, my legs were like aching, my head were aching, I was super tired and um, I decided to go home because I couldn't take any more of this thing that I actually missed two merchandise and I didn't get a single shamu, we had sea tickets and we didn't manage to catch everything. But anything but besides of these things Kodum Dragon was amazing and that was the most important part right because I came there for for them so I'm gonna finish off this last concert experience for this year and this in event experience that I talked about earlier so from my heart to Kodum Dragon so I'm not sure what really happened, my camera just decided to shut off in the middle of my speech, I'm sorry about that. So I'm gonna try to finish off this video again, like I said, to Kodoma Dragon. I'm not sure if I did actually got this one on the other part, but I'm gonna do it either way, even though it's gonna be twice. To Kodoma Dragon from Masa. Kodoma Dragon, Aichiterio. Hopefully I will see you live next year in January. January 8, 2017 in Tokyo, hopefully. So again, Hayato, Shamu, alright, let's take Shamu. Men Men, Kana and Yume, Don't worry, Gato gozaimashita. And now I'm gonna show you the merchandise that I got, the things that I actually got, alright. So everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Masa Jiroki will be back soon again. And next year I'm gonna do my best to attend even more concerts. I have a few on them on the way. But since my sister is coming to me next year as well, I need to save my money for her arrival as well. So we can see a lot of Jiroki fans and meet a lot of Jiroki fans together as well. So this will be all for now. I'm gonna show you the merchandise. I think I will use my other camera for that because this one can't really focus that well. Not sure why. Masayuki is out though. Bye bye. Support Kodoma Dragon because they are worth it. Alright, if you haven't checked them out, please do so. You're not gonna get. You know, you're not gonna. I lost my English word there. You're not gonna regret it because they are amazing. I think that sounds good. In either way, Masayuki is out though. Alright, guys, Masayuki is back. I'm gonna show you the merchandise that I bought with Kodoma Dragon. From yesterday and the day before that, during the in-store event and the concert. This is something I got for free yesterday, so uh, yeah. This is Kodomo Dragon. This is BP Records, you know, the record that Kodomo Dragon, Kiryu and uh, Royce are at. So why not? Oh, right. There, this is the concert ticket, this is mine, I think, uh, I'm not sure if Joey kept his or not, but either way, this was my ticket. As you can see, this is C ticket, number one for C ticket. Yes, good job there. So, this is my Czechy album. 
this is meteoroid as you already seen this is my first hayato that i got for two days ago during after the insta event so this is number one then this is number two number three this is my only yume that i have this is kana and here we have two men men and then these ones are the ones that i bought yesterday after the concert this is kana kana and kana this is men men yes i know it looks very rad right and another hayato and as you can see no shamu i want shamu to be here what is this luck i'm not sure but at least i got some check is right but <sighs> better luck next time then i bought this towel i just opened it up as you can obviously see that's why this looks like this. see if i can get it out straight with one hand only since i'm recording with one hand kind of like this i think you will have to yeah this is how the towel looks like it's very long a lot of japanese kanji katakana hiragana let's slide that one together and then we have yeah here's the hoodie then we have the rubber bracelets here not sure which way it should be maybe this way the the green one and then the black one so I have a lot of these now. The rest I have is up, up there. I'm gonna start to collect these ones maybe. <laughs> and then at last we have the hoodie. Or the paka. Paka. They call it paka here. Paka. Paka or something like that. But I say hoodie. It's easier. But when I had to. When I wanted to buy this one, I had to say paka. Because otherwise they wouldn't understand what I was talking about. This is the hoodie. And it looks like my other hoodies. Besides the fact that this is a Kodomo Dragon hoodie. As you can see here is the Kodama Drag logo. Attention, yes. I'm not even sure what size it is because uh, everyone was like the same size. And if we turn it on the back side, the back side is very rad. Let's see if I can get it straight out, maybe. Kind of like that. This is the back side. Wolfman! This is what the tour was called. Look at this masterpiece, hey? It's rad, I love it. So guys, that's all. Master the Jerk is now out. I'll see you again soon. And once again, thank you for watching. And continue to support Kodomo Dragon. If you haven't checked them out, as I said before, do it. Because they are amazing. They rock. Master the Jerk is out. Bye bye everyone.